The port of Hastings has been an active trading and ferry port since the late 1800s. One of the first regular ferry services was the Eclipse, which connected the Cobb Co coach service to Melbourne. The ferries catered for passengers, supplies, farm produce and livestock, providing essential support for residents and visitors to Phillip Island and French Island. The first use of Western Port as an industrial port occurred in 1931 when the oil tanker Vincus served as a floating petrol store anchored off Stony Point. In 1963, the state government approved the establishment of the BP refinery at Crib Point. With the advantages of naturally deep sheltered water and large areas of relatively undeveloped flat land close to Melbourne, Hastings was ideally placed for development as a commercial port. The land surrounding the port of Hastings has been reserved for port-related uses since the late 1960s. And in 2004, the state government identified the port of Hastings as the preferred site for development of container trade once the port of Melbourne reaches capacity beyond 2030. Consequently, the charter of the Port of Hastings Corporation is to plan and develop a sustainable port, one that takes account of the special environmental values of Western Port, one that delivers economic benefits locally, nationally and internationally, and one that respects the growing recreational use of the bay. Enough. Let's go. To achieve this, the Port of Hastings Corporation has developed a port land use and transport strategy known as the PLUTS. The PLUTS identifies three port precincts Long Island, Crib Point, and Stony Point. Again, Spirit Hastings Harbour Control, copy that Sandy Point in, thank you. Port businesses currently employ 170 people. The Long Island precinct already contains the existing facilities serving SO, BHP, Billiton and Blue Scope Steel. It also includes a large parcel of land zoned for port use with enough space to accommodate the future development of container handling and other port infrastructure, including a new port operations centre which would be relocated from its current home at Stony Point. Port expansion is planned to progress in three stages, ultimately providing facilities for increased trades in bulk, break bulk, cars, general cargo and international containers, generating employment for more than 4,000 local people by 2035. The liquid berthing facility at Crib Point will continue to service the need for bulk liquid trades into the future with increased use of the existing pipelines linking Hastings to Altona and Geelong. These pipelines are valuable statewide infrastructure. And the PLUTS recommends that the surrounding land, currently zoned for port use, be reassessed for future opportunities to open it up for possible community recreational and environmental uses. In fact, the areas of state-owned land between Crib Point and Stony Point have been identified for environmental rehabilitation and management in conjunction with local community groups. The PLUTS also recommends that the Stony Point precinct, currently home to the Port Operations Centre, be made available for community, tourism and recreational uses. The continuation of the passenger ferry services and potentially a car ferry service are also recommended. Providing effective transport access to and from the Port of Hastings is an essential element of the future plans for the port. Currently, the port is connected by the Stony Point Frankston rail line and local and regional road networks. With increased activity at the port, these existing networks will need to be expanded and upgraded 
to provide effective ongoing access to the Victorian freight and logistics network. Transport access is a key aspect of the strategy and will be designed, implemented and managed by the Department of Transport. The Port of Hastings Corporation is committed to developing a port that is a world's best practice sustainable operation and a world leader in green port development and management. You there, Mick? Come on. Oh, don't move. All right, mate. Have a good one. Oh, well, going fishing. An expert scientific panel will be established to make sure that suitable planning and assessment processes apply to every element of the port expansion. Sustainable development of a green port means developing the Port of Hastings with sustainable products, services and practices. And it means encouraging local, national and international suppliers and port users to adopt sustainable approaches. It also means that throughout the planning process, there will be many opportunities available to local organisations and individuals to discuss and provide input to the planning process. The PLUTS is the first step in establishing the Port of Hastings as a significant element of Victoria's freight network, a key contributor to the local economy, a valuable community partner in the protection and support of Western Port's unique environment, and a key driver for maintaining and improving recreational facilities for use by the entire community. There's a pelican! The Plutz is the bridge between the history of our ancestors and the requirement for the Port of Hastings to meet the needs of future generations in a sustainable way. The Port of Hastings Corporation is responsible for achieving this vision by seeking expert advice, consulting with the community, planning future port expansion with consideration for the environment, the economy and the community. And for securing the future of the Port of Hastings, Western Port and its many communities.